two-year-old Colton Gelding Pace was on the track for the third of six divisions of the Albatross. No show wagering. Win place exact the trifecta. Number one is three on three, owned by Fannin Racing LLC of Lincoln, Delaware, along with George Teague Jr. Incorporated of Harrington, Delaware. George Teague Jr. trains. Jason Bartlett drives number one from post four, three on three. Number two, Fancy Footwork. Only Money Incorporated, Bartley, Delaware. Theodore Gerwitz of New York. George Teague Jr. Incorporated, Harrington, New Delaware. Are the owners, George Teague Jr. trains. And Corey Callahan drives 1A from post six, Fancy Footwork. Number two from post one is Hello, Hot Shot. Roy Williams, LLC, Hope Well, New Jersey is the owner. Taylor Gower trains and Eric Ledford. Number two, post one, Hello, Hot Shot. Three post two is Expect Success, Fashion Farms, LLC, New Hope, Pennsylvania. Own, Jim Campbell trains, Dave Pallone drives. Number three from post two, that's Expect Success. Four is Ray's Sand. Jacob Ramsberg of Thermont, Maryland, along with James Russell Arledge of Orient, Ohio. Jim Arledge Jr. is the trainer. Brett Miller drives. Number four from post three, Ray's Sand. Five something for Doc. Strollin Stable, Marion, Ohio. James Kohler of uh, Finley, Ohio, along with William Robinson of Finley, are the uh, owners. Brian Brown trains. Greg Grismore drives five, post five. That's something for Doc. Number six is Famous Western. D. Gombert of New Jersey, along with uh, Rose. J. Rose, excuse me, from Brooklyn, New York, Lightning Five Racing Stable, and uh, the uh, Hand Stable of New Jersey, Steve Elliott Trains, Mike Walter, six, post seven, Famous Western, and the final horse in the field is number seven, All-Star Shark, post-time partners, 2009 LLC, Louis Del Delaware, Robert Reeser, also of Delaware, are the co-owners, Robert Reeser Trains, and Tim Curtin from post eight, number seven, All-Star Shark. Win place, exact the trifecta wagering in the fourth. They'll be at the post in one. 30 to 1. How can you not want to have a like a 4th of July wiffle ball game? Huh? <laughs> That's right. There's something for Doc. Greg Grismore, Brian Brown, a second place finish in a qualifier at Toyota on the 23rd of June in 57 and 2. Something for Doc is 12 to 1. Well, we have something for you folks right now. The fourth race. We also have a 1 to 9 entry. Mm. Post time for this fourth. Third division of the Albatross in behind the gate. From the inside out, hello, hot shot. Expect success. Raise sand. Three on three. Something for Doc. Fancy footwork. Famous Western and All-Star Shark. Off they go. That is three on three. Off stride goes All-Star Shark. All-Star Shark is on a break. Expect success. And Dave Blown have gone to the front. Three on three is second. And it's Hello Hot Shot. Make that to Ray Sand in third. Then we get back to something for Doc in fourth. Fancy footwork is next. Then we get back to expect success. As they race into the turn, it's Jason Bartlett with three on three, 27 and three for the opening quarter. Expect success correct in second, and it's Ray Sand in third. It's two and a half lengths back to something for Doc in fourth. Fancy footwork is fifth. Famous Western sixth. All Star Shark is recovered. And the trailer is Hello Hot Shot. On the turn and heading towards the half mile marker, it's the one to nine. Three on three with Jason Bartlett, 56 and three. Expect success is right there in second. Ray San is third. Along in fourth, it's something for Doc. In fifth is the other part of the entry, fancy footwork. Goes to the outside inside, comes Famous Western. All-Star Shark, and out of it, as a race down the backside, is Hello Hot Shot. 
It is still a comfortable three on three in front. To the outside, here comes something for Dock into second, 124 and three. Expect success is still there third. And the entry mate, Fancy Footwork, now swings three wide into the stretch. Four wide is Famous Western. Into the stretch they come, and it's three on three with the lead. Fancy Footwork to the outside. Here comes something for Dock. Something for Dock now takes over. Inside, it's Expect Success. Outside, and in that photo for place was Fancy Footwork. 154 flat. So, 11 to 1 shot. Something for Doc among Rogers' numbers, but not ours. And wow, 3 on 3 just completely fell apart in the lane. And Fancy Footwork was uh, pacing right out from under his saddle pad. And <laughs> there's, there's some people out there who are concerned about whether that one got up for second or not. I, I thought he did, to be honest with yeah, you. Yeah, I thought so too. Yeah, I mean, there was like $13,900 to place on that entry out of 14 grand. And I think he did save the place and uh, save everybody that may have sent that money in on an entry. Um, but they were betting the solid one there, that's for sure. And boy, did he disappoint in the stretch, no doubt about it. Fan uh, something for Doc and Greg Grismore for Brian Brown. Big effort. He's going to get there. Now, this place photo is between Pallone on the inside with Expect Success and Callahan with the 1A. I thought the 1A, but nothing up yet. 154, final time. There's a collective holding of the breath going on right now for those who wagered on the entry to place. Jack? Oh, it's up for second. Look, that's the 1A, by the way, right. fancy footwork for second. Expect success third. And raised sand fourth. Greg Grismore with something for Doc. Heading back to the winner's circle in our third of six divisions of the Albatross. Number five, something for Doc. Owned by Stroll and Stable, Marion, Ohio. James Kohler of Findlay, Ohio, along with William Robinson of Findlay, Ohio. Brian Brown, the winning trainer. And in the bike, in victory, Greg Grismore. Number five, something for Doc is a two-year-old Bay Colt by Western Hanover. Out of the mayor, All-American Mocha, number five, something for Doc, scores the victory here in 154 flat, taking race number four, something for Doc. 11 to 1 over.